Charges are expected after a driver hit and killed two people riding a motorcycle. It happened around 10 last night at Taylor Boulevard and Arlene Avenue right in front of Iroquois High School. Metro police say a man in a pickup truck hit a motorcyclist and his passenger at the intersection. The man driving the motorcycle died at the scene and his female passenger died at the hospital. Police say the truck driver wasn't hurt and is cooperating with the investigation. Today, JCPS is expected to unveil its plans for the old Passport headquarters site in West Louisville. It's at 18th and Broadway. It's been vacant for years. So Jim Stratman is joining us in the studio. Jim, now with uh, what we know so far, and this is a site that the district has brought up in the past. Yeah, it's been part of a conversation for quite a while. In fact, people in West Louisville have had hopes for this land multiple times. First, there was the plans for a Walmart. Then there was a health care facility that was supposed to go there. Now it looks like JCPS will be the ones to finally develop it. Dr. Marty Polio first shared the district was talking to Molina Healthcare about the land nearly two years ago and expressed interest in it being the site of a new middle school. Now, when we asked him about that yesterday, this announcement that's coming up, he stayed pretty coy and was unable to give direct details just yet. But he did say that he's excited to release plans for a new uh, uh, middle school. Uh, the new Hudson Middle School. Now we'll find out later this morning if those plans do include the site at 18th and Broadway. Already people in the community though feeling pretty excited about this and what be could become of the property. Now what I'm hearing again, it makes me excited. A new school means new technology, the latest gadgets, and our kids deserve that. The families of the West End, they deserve that. Members of JCPS and Molina, along with Governor Andy Bashir, will be out at 18th and Broadway here just a few hours from now. They're expected to give more details about the development coming up at 10 o'clock. Now, we will post more information as we get it on our website and on our news app. Eric, Grace. Thank you. Today, Tark's board is expected to vote on its own deal with JCPS. The agreement could restore transportation to some of the district's magnet schools by adding Tark bus drivers to JCPS routes. The Transit Authority is facing budget cuts and a proposed reduction in services across more than a dozen different bus lines by the end of the month. The deal would help save the jobs of around 70 drivers. It comes after weeks of negotiations led by Mayor Craig Greenberg, JCPS, TARC, and community leaders. JCPS board members are set to vote on the agreement at their next meeting, June the 25th. Investigators are trying to determine what caused a large fire in southern Indiana that destroyed an auto shop. And you can see here, uh, there's really not much left of the building. It happened yesterday afternoon, just before 3 on Apple Leaf Lane. That fire burned nearly everything, leaving behind charred pieces of the metal building. Clarksville fire crews tell us there were people inside when the fire started, but everyone did make it out safely. New Chapel EMS is responding to an open letter from the Clark County Health Officer about ambulance services there. In his letter, Dr. Eric Yazel said the county has taken steps to mitigate the strain on the system from a shortage of employees at New Chapel. That's the agency founded by former Clark County Sheriff Jamie Knoll, who's now in jail. In a statement, New Chapel EMS said, quote, it has been well documented that there is a nationwide EMS staffing shortage. The problem is not exclusive to our community or to New Chapel as a company. It goes on to say it's working to recruit and retain staff. In his letter, Dr. Yazel said since June the 1st, only one prolonged response time of 20 minutes has been reported. He says they'll continue to monitor those times. Metro Louisville is currently in the design phase of its reimagined 9th Street project. Its goal is to convert the road from a six lane thoroughfare to a more narrow roadway with landscaping and possibly public art. The city also wants to make the area safer, especially when it comes to speeding. For years, the wide corridor has acted as a barrier between downtown and West Louisville. And last night, community members got a chance to weigh in on plans for the project. People don't feel like it's a safe place for them to be as people. Um, so we want to make this street feel more like a corridor that belongs in an urban neighborhood rather than an extension of an off ramp for the interstate. Your input is welcome here. If you'd like to provide it, you can fill out an online survey. We've got a link for that in this story at whs11.com.